Okay, today is June 16, 2023, 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And uh, first of all, uh, this is not financial advice. And uh, I want to thank everybody subscribing to my channel, hitting the like button, leaving a comment. Uh, it really helps make my channel grow. Um, I want to talk about quant and uh it really uh shot up today um very unexpectedly and uh and the reason why so it uh i looked at this uh around noon time and i was uh, amazed at uh it uh trading around 111 dollars and it went up to 112, 113, 114. It hit 115. Then it started to hit resistance. But you can see there that it, uh, as of now, has 17.24%. Uh, increase in tokenization. In the price of increase. Um, and then if you look at the graph here. You can see that uh, it is. Uh, you can see it explodes. Uh, I it just. It's just. It's just. Uh, just a mind-boggling. Um, how this uh, token just exploded. So uh, we'll get into uh, why um, and. Uh, it's a very small uh, market cap, as you can see here. Market cap is one billion point seven billion dollars. Very small market cap, but the demand for it. So what it what it's saying? What I'm saying here is that the total amount. Even the max supply, you have 14 million. That's very little as far as tokens. The total supply is 14,881,000. Wow. And then the market cap is about 1.7 billion. So the demand uh, for quant is extremely high. So when you have such a low, low supply with a, a very low market sh cap, um, it's it's going to really sh you know affect the price of the token, which what which is why why part of the reason it, it's all about demand and supply. Uh, the demand is really uh, pulling on the supply amount out there in the world, and you can see right here. Uh, let's go to. This is a seven-day chart. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I I don't know. We can go one month. We can go one month. This is one month. And I really wish I got into uh, quant. Uh, but you can see about a month ago. Let's... Uh, I want to do uh, as all. So you can see there that... Quant when it started out was approximately 75 cents. 75 cents. And that was back in September 2018. And just look at it. It really it really took off. The highest that quant ever hit was Three hundred and thirteen dollars U.S. dollars. Wow, three hundred and seventy-four dollars, and that was in September fourteen, twenty twenty-one. There's just so much information which is kind of affecting the way I'm trying to get this information out, and me looking at it, uh, and worried about keeping this video short. Uh, but you can see there's a lot of ups and downs. Uh, we had uh, 
uh, the, the C-19 affecting the worldwide economy. So uh, a lot has occurred where it just, I, I really believe that C-19 had really affected the, all of cryptos. But it also, with the money supply increasing in the United States in 2020, from March 2020 till now, it really kind of uh, expanded the envelope. But uh, if you look at it today, it's like one day. Let's look at one day chart. You can see it's in the red territory. And then all of a sudden, it's like. 111 dollars a unit and today this afternoon i just saw it i mean this this uh this token shot up 111 112 and uh 100 and, you can see there 113 and uh the, the you know the the, the uh, amount of transactions you you look you're seeing there is a 84 million tokens uh being transacted within a 24 hour period so uh so right now it's at $114.55 today uh being uh June 16 2023 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time so the question is what is going on what is going on why did it take take off and it had a history of the history here with quant it it has hit an all-time high of about which i just mentioned pro previously 200 300 what i just mentioned it uh just a while ago i, I think it was over 300 dollars. wow this this has a lot of room to go so okay uh why did quant why did, you know, I'm kind of like amazed that this uh, it, it escaped my radar, you know. Um, here's the Quant website. And the reason why Quant, why did it, it was so, why did it go up so high? Uh, the reason is that uh, the Bank of England, which is in the United Kingdom, uh, UK, and Quant are sharing, according to this article on their website, posted uh, May 16, 2023, uh, are sharing a CBDC vision. And, uh, but stay with me, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is investigative journalism. Okay, so they are partnering up. Uh, the Bank of England itself, because due to hundreds of years of monetary control in the UK, uh, they uh, I don't think they are uh, able to produce their own crypto. So they have to partner up with another company, and that being Quant. So it gets better. The plot thickens. It gets better. Then, uh, this is an older article, and this is on April 24, 2023. CBDCs in the spotlight at IFGS 2023. So, this is maybe uh, 20 days earlier posted. Look, it gets a lot better. Uh, April 11, going back in time, City, which is Citibank, predicts $4 trillion of tokenized assets and city bank is uh, a bank worldwide of course um i think they have a measure play there in the united kingdom uh here we go digging into the article city predicts four trillion of tokenized assets by andrew carrier so uh, banking giant expects four trillion to five trillion of tokenized digital securities and one trillion of distributed ledger technology, based on trade finance volumes by twenty 
30. Um, this is very interesting. The amount of money uh, in this article is, is really, really uh, intriguing there. Um, so U.S.-based Citibank, Citigroup released a report last month that outlines the future for tokenization and the blockchain economy in the report. Money, tokens, games, blockchains, next billion users and trillions in value. The bank articulates an inflection point where the promised potential of blockchain will be released and be measured in billions of users and trillions of dollars in value. The article goes on, uh, and I don't want to bore you with all this. Um, so, the reason why Quant took off today is because of Bank of England and Quant Share partnering up. They partnered up. And I don't know why it took a long time for it to really take off. But someone out there, some big whales, are scooping up the tokens, which is a prudent investment because, uh, like I said earlier, the market cap is very low and they're not producing unlimited amount of tokens. So as long as the supply is low and the demand is high, it makes it as a good investment to scoop up these tokens. And uh, so when you have Bank of England and Quant partnering up, in May, which is a month ago, and you have another article with Citigroup predicting four trillion of tokenized assets in the next seven years. Uh, the gameplay is there; it's um, it's it's there. So, uh, there you have it. Uh, that's uh, why it uh, took off today. Um, I just don't know why this really escaped my radar. Uh, but you're talking about $114 to invest. So, I mean, does everybody have $114 just for one token? So these are very big whale operators out there. Um, and I, that's the reason why I feel that uh, they're the ones that are moving the market on this. But... Um, uh, again, this is not financial advice, but this is my observation of what I'm seeing here. Um, there, there you have it. Uh, it's hitting resistance now, but uh, as it hit like three hundred over three hundred dollars in the past, uh, who's to say that it can't hit it again? Uh, I mean, I I really like this token, which is Quant. And I like it because it's got a low uh, market supply and low supply of tokens. But the demand is outpacing out, outpacing the, the amount of supply out there, which can really bring this from $114 a unit to $300, over $300, as it did in the past. It has proven itself. Okay, I... Um, I will uh, leave it at that. Have a great night. Thank you for uh, supporting my channel and uh, more videos to come along. Have a great night. Bye-bye.